gone. Boom, boom. <sighs> All right, fine. We won't do that. All right. <clears throat> there goes our opening. Welcome to the Council Podcast, Fuck. sponsored by oh. my own wallet. Um, today, it's just me and Carter this time. Um, and this is not going to be completely absurd like last time where we had the stupid uh, 1 a.m. ramblings of two insane young people so before we started this off um while i was trying to get my technology to work um carter has brought up something it is now july 30th i mean june 30th excuse me it's june 30th <laughs> and there's already fucking fireworks <laughs> it's june 30th and there's it's people already scaring launching the fireworks. shit scaring the shit out of my dogs for the record <laughs> <sighs> it's always the same story with everybody you know, I, I we may be complaining about it, but it, this happens every single year, though. It like starts I very mean, yeah. early, and then it continues on until <laughs> I don't know, like August or September or something like that. Until Christmas. <laughs> until Christmas, and it's the same. It's the same thing every <laughs> single year. And I'm, here's the thing: I'm when I'll, the- I'll partly complain about it because I don't like every now and then just sitting in my room and just hearing. <laughs> And I'll be sitting there, and I'll be wondering, were those gunshots or were those actual like firework explosions? <laughs> they like sounded reaches pretty behind, loud. Reaches, reaches to the back of your head. Oh, shit, oh. I got JFK. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, not um, again. On the other side, you know, when you're the one launching them off, you're like fire, and then it's just fun. So <laughs> kill them, kill them all. Uh, Ah, uh, sir. Kill them. But did they just start for you today? No, I've been hearing them for at least the past week. Okay. Because for me, they just started today. There's somebody that's launching off the mortar-style ones that you usually see at, like, big, extravagant um, fireworks shows. Yeah. Like, they're the ones that you actually fire off, like, a mortar, you drop it in, and you're like, hacking, pinch, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that I, I I know I've made that noise plenty of time on the Fourth of July. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was um, I was referencing uh, one of those the I was referencing one of those HBO World War Two miniseries okay. the Pacific. That's what they that's what it sounds like they say whenever they're about to launch the mortar. If you watch a scene, <laughs> you'll just see Sledge standing there and he's like he it's like next shot hack it fire. <laughs> Really? It just sounds like he says hack it. I don't know what he says. I've never really <laughs> delved that part that far into military Pop stuff. It. I mean <laughs> Twist it. I mean I know I, I, I know some stuff, but it's not like that Trench big. It. <laughs> Trench it. <laughs> Jap it. Kamikaze it. Nuke it. Oh. <laughs> Victory it. <laughs> Alright. So um, I'm, this is probably going to be coming up on Sunday, uh, whichever date that is. Let me just jump over to uh, J- July 1st is most likely when this will be going up. Unless, of course, if I feel like uploading it on Saturday, which is today, I mean, it doesn't take <laughs> that long to, uh, get it all prepared and everything like that. So I'll see what happens. I'll, I can actually just, get these. Do- I can actually shit these out in five seconds. In all honesty, I asshole. can. It's just I have everything else that I want to do, and I don't care. <laughs> I'm on break for the summer, and I'm just like, how many more subscribers can I get until I have to go back to school? <laughs> um. Uh. So I didn't do yesterday because I was getting my eyes checked. And yeah. I was hanging getting with friends. That, getting that ice pick. Yeah, getting my into ice his pick eyes. into my eyes. Yeah, tried, um, tried to see how far they could go. Exactly. And today, yeah. I uh, couldn't really do anything at the beginning. Um, I mean, I could have, but I didn't. Um, mostly because Carter, I forgot to text him in earlier today, but when I got back from doing what I had to do today, I texted him. He's like, 
my parents are watching a movie very loud and for some reason that movie was like a special five hour long movie or something like that because that's how well long no cause, well no because the, the movie ended like an hour after i i sent that and then hannah and her friends dragged me into their D D character creation session oh god and so, so now i am the fairy princess uh colin Callan. i was i Kalan? i had, me and a couple other friends uh they were over at my house and we're like let's do some D&D stuff, and I'm like, you do realize it's 10 o'clock. He's like, let's do some D&D stuff, and I'm like, okay. And we started doing our character creation. I was the only one that was actually going into it. Um, my my other friend was just like, he didn't know what was happening at all, and then my sister joined in, and she had no idea. Well, no, she did have some idea what she was doing, but and she Deadward joined in came in. Way, and then Deadward came in, and then, oh, shit! Shit, I just realized I forgot to put dead word in at some point in my Baldy video. Damn it. Well, to be honest, I did put the I did put disappointed in the description <laughs> so we can get away with that. Whatever. His es- his essence was in the My video. AD and my AD and D. My ADD is coming through right now, so I'm going to continue on with what I'm actually saying. But we did do a create uh we were doing some of our crea- uh character creations. So um, I can't remember the name of my guy, but I can tell you that he is, and I know this is funny, but um, he is a dragonborn, which is like this okay. dragon-human hybrid, and he uh-huh. is a rogue, which means this guy is a dragon assassin. And after <laughs> I came up with that character, all three of my friends, both make of it my unlock? friends and my sister look at me and they're like, yeah, that's definitely you, Mr. Assassin's Creed. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mine, mine that I just kind of shout out when they told me to make a character is a uh, Kalen Ernkarka, the fairy princess. That is okay. <laughs> All right. Well, what we were, <laughs> what we were trying to say, so. We, uh, so, today I'm just like, alright, I'm gonna mess this Carter and see if he can do it, so, uh, hour-long movie, then D&D thing, and then, now we're doing it now, but, um, Carter's like, wait, what are we gonna talk about today? And I'm just like, that's a very good question. Give me a second. We already second. milked the Odyssey, we already milked the Odyssey, cow, what are we gonna do now? Until we can... Yeah, you can definitely, <laughs> by the way, I'll just say this right now. To summarize what I basically think of Odyssey right now, I don't know. The only thing I'm honestly <laughs> mad about is that they're releasing this a year after Origins, after they said they were not, after they did a whole not release after yeah. Syndicate, and they're like, oh, this is much better. Let's release this one a year after. That's the only thing I'm mad about. Honestly, don't <laughs> What know are we going to put in between? The movie. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't yeah. expecting that. And now Origins. Wait, this game's actually pretty good. Yay. Huh, this is pretty good. I like <laughs> this idea. The Spanish Inquisition. Hmm, I wonder how this game did good. Uh, let's think about that while we release the next game a year afterward. Uh, audience, wait a second. <laughs> um, that's the only thing I'm mad about. Other than yeah. that, I don't know what's going to happen. But that's, that's okay with me. Um, however, I did type in Assassin's Creed news. <laughs> so, I only found one article, but while I go through this one, I'm going to see if I can find any other can you, worthwhile things. Can you hear the, the neighborhood blowing up? Yes. Like, <laughs> yes, I can. It just sounds like your, like your water bottle or something is rattling on the desk. It's hilarious. <laughs> and it stops. And I, it has yeah, shit, I can do that. about it. So, are you ready for the title of this article? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the Confederate run. It's like they get closer and closer to your house and they're just staring out <laughs> your window. <laughs> All right, here's the Connor title. just kind of like busts through the glass. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the title. Teachers still more effective at educating than Assassin's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and I was no. like, oh, this seems a little bit relevant. Let's see what's <laughs> going on here. Assassin's Creed Origins, that title is in quotations, by the way, educational discovery tour mode was nearly as effective at education, edu- educating 
grade and high school students about ancient Egypt as a teacher, according to some preliminary research into the effectiveness of the add-on. Now, before I continue on with this, um, I knew that there were some quote-unquote studies that uh, existed before um, mm -hmm. before this about like the effectiveness of like history with the Assassin's Creed games in a way. Here's the yeah. only problem that I have, not just with like this, but with anything. Uh huh. You know, people tell you don't trust everything you read on the internet because there's yeah. a reason. <laughs> um, so no matter what it is, I am very skeptical about it if it's posted here on the internet because I need to see the actual like studies <laughs> and you need to see the actual numbers of the people. And where they're getting these. I need to from. lick the guy who conducted the experiment. I need uh, to yeah. be able to caress his left bicep <laughs> or her left bicep, depending on who it is. That's another thing. I need to know if it's a him or a her. It's um, the only way I'll truly know the information. Exactly. Um, and the cool thing is that this article addresses exactly that. <clears throat> but, and let's continue on, but there are quite a few catches. The study mm -hmm. was rather small, it tested knowledge on a very simple subject, and did so right after the students had either played the game or been instructed by a teacher. Ultimately, those instructed by the game saw a 44% improvement of their knowledge, and those lectured by a teacher saw a 51% improvement. I would like to say again, <laughs> that yes... Wait, that's a flawed, that's a flawed study then, because if you're trying to prove that it's, it teaches better than a teacher, you would have one that's taught by the game, and then... You would have two separate samples. Yeah, That's one you? thing. Here's the yeah. Here, here's the thing that I also have a problem with this um, article. It's a, it's it's like you know the the study was it's 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 not trustworthy because it the 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 group is very small and we don't have that like there the the view the readers can't exactly see it. Let's do the same exact <laughs> fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to give specific numbers. Just trust us. Just trust <laughs> us after we make fun of them for doing the same thing. <laughs> Ultimately, though, yeah, okay. So, most I'm important takeaway from both Ubisoft's creation of the free Discovery Tour add-on and the research was that the project is worth doing. Yes. Because every, almost every person that buys Assassin's Creed Origins is mainly getting it for the Discovery Tour. The only reason why I would go into the Discovery <laughs> Tour is because I want Senu to be white. And I yeah, don't yeah, mean yeah. that in a racist way. White feathers. <laughs> stop taking me out of context, whoever you pieces of dump are. Yeah, Blobby, stop taking yourself out of context. Yeah, I know, right? Um, I, uh, <laughs> I, I love, mean, go it. I, I have only ever done the Discovery Tour once. I didn't even complete, like, I just couldn't get, because it's, it's not Sean Hastings. <laughs> That's true, yeah. I, I don't like, know, I mean, it seems... Because well, it, 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 it feels like a documentary, and not the kind of documentary that, like, has fun with itself. It's just kind of like, hey, we're that upbeat professor you have, here to teach you about ancient Egypt. Isn't that fun? Even though they're not that upbeat professor that I would have, <laughs> it's, it, it sounds. It's, I, d I don't like the monotone, the sort of monotone voice that they have right. with it. Um, it's like I get, thing, I get why, but still, it's like another thing that I don't like is that I feel like that they've packed so many subjects into something you don't need to have so many subjects on. Like if they if they wanted to give history on certain places they could have put it all into one thing and not like separate different tours because if you look that whole yeah, entire right. discovery tour thing has a lot of different places you have to go through and you have to go through a lot yeah. of them in order to complete them a and a lot of them when they drag on it's like uh, yeah it's just like was oh, there like 40 of them or something like that? This isn't BuzzFeed. You don't have to say, and you won't believe what happens next. And then I'll have to travel about 300 meters just to hear what happens next. And the only thing that I happens next is... I think I only got through like... Julius 10. Caesar screwed <laughs> Cleopatra. And then that's it. I saw, <laughs> I saw this one walk. It was like an early access uh, Let's Play of the... And 
ninety percent of it was just them dicking around as King Ptolemy. Like yeah. it's just zero focus, zero focus on any of the education, just them fucking around, <laughs> getting yeah, in people's swear. spaces and climbing on buildings as King Ptolemy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> tell you a lot of people probably like went into Aya or Cleopatra and they're trying to get every angle that they could that was possibly like well of course <laughs> Did, what was that one thing that came out with the fuck what was like the that one PC update where like it was like a, a mod menu or something yeah what about it all of the videos that, that came up in my recommended feed were just about Aya fucking herself really of course. Are it's you like, well, we can ch we can change Bayek's character model to any character we want. How does that want. exist on YouTube, though? That's my question. Well, it's, that, it's the scene where, like, he first goes to Alexandria and they go down on each other. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> he still keeps it. Still keeps the Bayek voice, though. Is the thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it's it's normal, Aya. Getting plowed I'm by her. I'm surprised they don't like. They the... don't, I'm surprised they don't do something like I don't know the place that has the orgy that you can peer in on, and they just replace all those people with Aya. <laughs> just turn the entire turn the pyramids into a giant Aya head. <laughs> <laughs> that would be creepy as hell. <clears throat> it it just turns into dead word. Hello. Oh I'm God. the pyramid now. <clears throat> All right, uh, where was I? Um, the information came out of a presentation Thursday night in New York City at the annual Games for Change Festival where Maxim Duran, the historian for Ubisoft Assassin's Creed franchise, and University of Montreal professor Mar Marc Andre Ethier. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, <laughs> were among the presenters. During their talk, the two outlined the creation of Discovery Tour, its current state, and the desire to move it forward as an educational aid. <sighs> you know, want to know what was awesome? What? Having the information pop up on my screen when I was playing the game and not having to go into a separate add-on in order to look at this yeah, crap. You 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 mean like a, a database of sorts in the Animus? Yeah, and having like some sort of sarcastic British person yell at me at, at the same time. Some sort of Animus database that's so conveniently that convenient to yeah, access. Yeah, but I don't think that will make people look at it so how about we offer the reward of white feathers <laughs> the discovery tour allows players of origins still in quotations to activate a mode that disables the game's fighting systems and then explore a number of educational tours on a variety of historical topics and games okay no it does not activate anything it's a separate thing and yes while it does take out the combat the exploration's dumb at that point, then. <laughs> yeah. It really is. You realize is that half of the ex exploration of the entire game of Origins is dungeon diving, predator killing, bandit yeah. killing, and <laughs> climbing up stuff for viewpoints. That's all, like, the... Yeah. That's all the exploration. You know, I'm, I'm kind of starting to <clears throat> understand why they... Because I remember you, I remember ancient Egypt was actually originally on their list of city of like time periods they would never do for Assassin's Creed. Um, <laughs> really? Well, yeah, because they they had a list. I remember I forget what entirely was on it, but I remember it was ancient Egypt, World War Two, and feudal Japan were the three big ones they said they would never ever do because oh, they felt it. You would... mean? You mean? Two of those three were the main ones that everybody was asking for. You mean, you well, know, I mean, the one that the main one, feudal Japan, and especially the one that <laughs> they keep teasing for a lot of different things. Case in point, a map on Rainbow Six Siege where a samurai armor had the assassin symbol on its belt. Yeah, no, they do not ever want to do that one. The well, I, the reasoning for the feudal Japan one was was just like it was There's overdone. There's too many trees. It's over. Wait, it's overdone. Well, yeah, because they, they thought that the whole ninja, uh, the whole ninja samurai setting was overdone. That was their. Oh this was that my god! Let me tell you the two games that I can think of off the top of my head right now. No, three <laughs> games that I can tell you off the top of my head that use Japan: Dynasty Warriors, 
whatever that freaking PlayStation 3 game was where it's like, we're gonna reenact famous battles in Japan and had a giant crab roll in, and then oh. Ninja Gaiden and that's it. And I don't even think Ninja Gaiden was even in Japan. I think it's just like in general. Well, Still, there's like, there's yeah, no, that's no, no, it's not overdone. <laughs> if anything, it's underdone. Why do you think people are suggesting it? Ubisoft. Have you ever heard of an audience, Ubisoft? Have you ever listened to an audience before? No, wait, no. You don't listen to the actual audience. You just listen to everybody else who doesn't even play the game. <sighs> I, just I just imagine the CEO just kind of like sitting at his desk. All right, I need new ideas. And he, just, he like runs, like the whole desk is empty. He runs over to a different chair. I think we should not do Feudal Japan. Runs back to his own desk, <laughs> to his own chair. Mm, that's a good idea. The CEO <laughs> of Ubisoft is Yves Guimot. And he looks old and out of touch. <laughs> but uh, World War II, they said because they didn't think they could pull off the gun combat and, like, fuse it with the AC formula very well, which I, I still don't. I understand I... that, but after seeing the con the way that they do the whole arrow, the bow and arrow combat with this game, they could do yeah. something similar with that. I mean, just give them less ammo and then don't put them in war zones. Put yeah, them it's in, like, like you can, you can, occupied like you can areas. Have, Put them in yeah, occupied you can have areas. Guns. It's not Assassin's Creed, let's storm the beaches of Normandy. It's Assassin's Creed, I'm going to fight with the French resistance and then take out the Nazis in a way like this. Yeah. That's that's all yeah, they need to so do. Like, it's like, not, it's not asking have... for a third-person version of Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> you can have guns without it being a shooter. Exactly. Yeah. And they've I, already, I and like they've they already instituted, like, they've already institu instituted a... <clears throat> a combat system that can make it work. Yeah. They just gotta play it right. However, this is Ubisoft. I don't know if they're gonna play it right. <laughs> and then Ancient Egypt, I forget what their... Ex uh, no, Ancient Egypt, their excuse was the, the landscape itself was not... would not be, like, engaging because it's mostly desert and shit. And there, there wouldn't be, like, a lot... <laughs> And look where we are now. <laughs> all of the desert is in the south part of the game, and it's not even all of the desert. <laughs> Did you notice to that? To be fair, most of, most of that map, most of that map is just empty space filled with bandits and tombs and nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> but the desert that they were scared of, they put all the way in the south, and they only put one thing of interest in there. <laughs> with the with the very. <laughs> like that Isu Trench. <laughs> yeah, Isu Trench, where you have to play a game of Shine the Mirror. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then when you get and into there... zombies. But whenever, and when get you a get piece in, of Eden that has nothing to do with the earlier... No, 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 that's an add-on, Carter. We can't oh, talk wow. about add-ons. <laughs> 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 and this is the sound of Blobby choking on Ubisoft. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look fucking at the, mosquito just flew into my mouth mid speaking. <laughs> it was sent by Ubisoft to kill you. <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry, everybody. Oh I'm man! I'm gonna look up the list to see if. Uh, um, I rap on Ubisoft a lot. But I mean, we all do. I know. And I, I mean, it may seem like that I hate them. I mean, I know I've, I've jokingly said it. When I say that I don't like a company or a person, it's honestly just me in a joking <laughs> matter. Because in all honesty, the only reason why I say that is just when I say that, this is what I mean. I am very peeved right now at a certain person, <laughs> and here's why. I just, okay. yeah. I mean, Ubisoft. Is just, yeah. I'm very frustrated with Ubisoft and how they do things right now. That's all. It's just yeah. how they how they present, how they make the games and everything like that. I feel like they don't even listen to their audience half the time, which pisses me off too. Yeah. Um I mean, it sucks because they make Assassin's Creed, which you know, all this. I mean, it, almost any everybody <laughs> who will probably listen to this will say is their favorite series. Um, it's my favorite series. 
Uh, but it just sucks because Ubisoft just it doesn't seem like they it doesn't seem like they were listening that well. Um, that's all. Anyways, continue on with this article. It just starts talking about all this other crap about um, <coughs> studying the groups of students or the, yeah the students. Um, and so on and so forth. But yeah, um, that was the thing that caught my eye, which means it was the very first link that I saw. Um, but, yeah, that's like, that whole Discovery no. Tour, not just the Discovery Tour, but all of Assassin's Creed. I mean, I can, I can see it being somewhat of an educational tool, but I don't want to say yeah. it would replace history class, because... Well, Remember course. that whole game. This whole game series is based off of conspiracy theories and uh, <laughs> cryptic messages. The whole first game literally points out, "Hey, most of these guys died in the wrong year, but hey, you're not you don't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you you weren't there, so you don't know. <laughs> this is uh... <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I passed my Renaissance test and freshman year because of AC2, so... <laughs> I haven't passed any other tests because of the games, but I mean... Because they um, barely cover any of this. <laughs> and another trending piece of AC news is just um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey main theme music is what it says. I listened to it. doesn't sound like main theme. Um, I might put the link in the description for it, but... <clears throat> is it, it um, Ezio's family remix from the trailer? <laughs> no, it isn't. It sounds like music that you would hear while you... Like ambient music that you would hear while traversing <laughs> Greece. Do, 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 yes, exactly. <laughs> but... Um, this brings up another thing that... Uh, talk about real quick, and especially since I scrolled down and I clicked on another link and it said this... <laughs> Let's talk about um, another thing with Ubisoft, article. and they're ten. They're ten to uh, have their content quote unquote leaked. <laughs> so, a term I would like the audience to get familiar with is this thing called marketing scheme. <laughs> marketing scheme is when you play off something or you cause an event in order to bring <laughs> attention, either positive or negative to a project or to a company for gains or losses in any way, shape, or form. Some of this could be done through um, controversy, <coughs> call-out, or my personal favorite, leak. Um, and when I say personal favorite, I mean the most boring way to do it. <coughs> Here's the thing. Um... When did this start happening with a bunch of leaks? Did this start happening at, like, AC4 or AC Unity? Mm-hmm. I'm asking you, which one did this start out with? Do you know? Oh, just in... Um... I remember seeing... Because I first got into the fandom after Assassin's Creed 3, so my only point of reference is after that point. Um... I remember when Black... I remember the very first thing about Black Flag we ever get that it was a screenshot of like the loading screen, you know, with like the animus and shit. Yeah. And Ed Edward Edward was there and it was just a screenshot of him standing there, but he had like he had he had Hatham's hair, like the, the brown and the hairstyle and everything. Yeah. <clears throat> that was the only one I remember for and there oh no, and there was also that one poster I remember, like that that like I, I was it a special edition poster or some shit. Right, yeah. <clears throat> that, that was Black Flag. But Unity. Think, Unity, I think, was when everything started to become leaked in a way. Quotes yeah, around you, leaks. Well, because well, Unity had those like, um, technically Origins were released or was a leaked ages ago. because like, there was that one screenshot. It was like yeah, but I mean like Project Osiris or something like that. Yeah, but I mean like still there was like okay, so to give context of what we're saying here, um, what we're talking about with Unity. If anybody is new to the series, um, for either like they didn't pay attention to Unity at all, um, or they just uh, 
you know, they came in later in the game, probably around Syndicate or something like that. <clears throat> um, you may have noticed that Assassin's Creed has had the tendency to make their announcements via link uh, leaks yeah. uh, onto the internet. Um, and for me, I think, or I think this whole thing started out at like AC Unity, and <clears throat> it started out with these pictures of Arno. Uh, front-facing yeah, camera in his original outfit, which is called the Fear Outfit, I believe, in the game. The Fearless, yeah. <laughs> the Fearless Outfit. And he's standing yeah, he... on top of these buildings and just staring at the camera um, with, like, no yeah, it, skyline it was, it was, of Paris at all. It's just it's just it, Arno. Yeah, well, it, it, was, it was just, scre- it was like, screenshots of early development and shit. Exactly, yeah. And this was, like, um, a little bit after... Uh, a little bit after AC, Black Flag. Yeah, a little bit after Black Flag. I think it was like a few months after, and I even made a comment when I saw it. I was like, turned to my mom and I said, the new Assassin's Creed has already been leaked, and it's only been like, what, three months or something like that? <laughs> and she didn't even give a shit. She's just like, hmm, that seems <laughs> odd, whatever. <laughs> um, <clears throat> But no, that's when it started, and then it's like, from then on, every new reveal of an Assassin's Creed has been a leak. I mean, I mean... I even yeah. remember. I even remember, <laughs> like getting excited over a certain leak that happened. Oh, leak, really? quote unquote, a year after <laughs> Unity came out, where I saw this dude hanging out on top of a smokestack in an awesome-looking outfit, and with the <laughs> file name saying "Victory," and then. Seeing another screenshot of this dude on top on top of a cart fighting another dude with a sword, he was using a sword, <laughs> I should say, the assassin, and it was downpouring and it looked awesome. And he had the little thing, he had the little thing on the side that said "Assassinate Robert Bulmer" or something like that. Yes, who and... never fucking appears. Oh, and let me tell you something else about Unity, real quick. I don't know if I talked about this real quick. Um, what? You know that first gameplay trailer they show you when you're um, infiltrating the palace to kill that one dude? and he, Oh, the, the Maquis guy? Yeah, and instead of killing him, you throw him out the window. Oh, and that was badass. He gets, he, he gets <laughs> beheaded, and the first thing that that's, I yeah, had an impression that. on was, oh, you get to choose whether to stab him yourself or the... It, the crowd to kill him. That makes sense <laughs> with the timeline. Nope, didn't happen in the rest of the game, but still. Um, that guy never I, showed I, up I again love... for a long no, time. Yes, he, yes, so I, he did. No, 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 he hang did. on. Hey, it's, you didn't let me finish. Carter. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> he didn't show up in the game, which I thought originally was the case. But for anyone else who remembers that trailer... If you eat a bunch of fucking cake around the mat, good news. Go back to the main palace where you f- see him in the trailer. You know, the only big palace that you can go inside. And you will find him standing on top of a giant cake. Fireworks blazing all around and you can fight him. Thanks, Ubisoft. Going back to victory, though. Oh, wait, sorry. Syndicate. Um, <clears throat> I was so excited to play that version. But then I heard, A, the assassin that we saw is not going to be the first. It, wait, it, wasn't there even, like, a whole, like, there was, like, a whole, um, there was a whole feature, a mechanic, where you're able to change out of your clothes into something else, right? Oh, yeah, one, one, well, one of the screenshots, it said, like, it said, like. We probably already talked uh, about this in a, in a like, season probably. one. But it, it, it was, it, it was something like, uh. Buy top hat for disguise or some shit like that. Yeah. So originally the top hat was the secondary feature. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Um, so I was very excited to see what was going to happen, but then we get the grave, oh grave news that a it will not be called Victory, and b the assassin that you would play as is not the one that you will see. I remember. You know, honestly, I remember. <laughs> And then we get the piece of Syndicate. You know, I remember. I actually remember Syndicate being the first, like, the first one that felt abrupt to me, like in terms of leaks and shit. 
Because everything else is like, like, it was it's just... like well, Unity has uh, the newest Assassin's Creed has been released, and it seems to be in France, based off of the screenshots. And yeah, the next it's just year, like screenshots and shit. And, the, and then this is it, this is England. <laughs> well, yeah, because like we get all the we get all those screenshots of the, the victory bullshit, and then like almost nothing. And then like I think a, what was it a few weeks after that, and like between that. <laughs> It's like suddenly, you, we there's this oh like oh it's gonna be a trailer it's gonna be a trailer like, oh 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 okay wait what it's not even close to the not, it's, wait a minute Unity this ju- isn't a trailer this is a live stream what is this wait a minute Unity just came out what well, how is there already a trailer and it's just his it's just the gauntlet and the cane I remember it was just oh, yeah. it was just like a gif of the gauntlet. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. oh okay i guess it's like we'll... tune in at this time and we're like oh i remember i remember being so confused too because like when you when it first showed the gauntlet and it looked absolutely nothing like the victory screenshots i'm like wait that is was, this like uh, is this that, that was, was... <sighs> that's just did it, you get was... that too where it just felt like yeah. oh wait this isn't yeah, the outfit so like, it must be yeah i was just like what's going on here and then it Ugh. And it's like, oh wait, no, it 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 is that game, but but it I what? You, you ever <laughs> notice that Ubisoft has the tendency to not add in stuff that they've already showcased with something? <clears throat> Let me talk to yeah, you about least, this for a second. At least with, you, at least with one, Unity, <laughs> with Assassin's Creed Two, when you get your, you notice how on the front page of the case and whatever is uh-huh. the Ezio thing that you see you see him with a gauntlet in the left hand and then yeah. a glove with the hidden blade just coming out of his right arm on his right hand but yeah. no when you get the hidden blade you get a second gauntlet <laughs> I'm okay with that brotherhood you're supposed to have two silver gauntlets but you only have one and then miraculously well, the Assassin's Creed 2 <laughs> glove shows up in this it, one instead yeah, of I was the gonna Assassin's say, Creed 2 <laughs> Um, Connor, some the, the box art of Connor has two, has him with two identical gauntlets. Yeah, that too with AC three. Um, yeah. I don't know. Rogue has a with, Rogue has a hood. Rogue has a hood. <laughs> Rogue doesn't have a hood on the outfit though, which I was supremely peeved off about. Even though I should have not been peeved about that, but I'm just like, this is great. Th- I'm actually getting this- a Templar outfit with an assassin hood. But no, he just flips up his collar. That's a piece of crap right there. And then, but it's okay. Um, you still have a black version of the of the assassin outfit. That counts, right? No. Yeah, no. <laughs> I want my trench coat, not some I, weird I so, looking uh, front. I, I remember outfit. I saw this. I saw this one like. I don't know if it was a mod or just a modeling thing somebody did, but I saw this one picture online. Somebody like put the hood onto the Templar outfit. And I was like, oh shit, is this real? Is this a mod I can get? And I looked it up. I couldn't find jack shit information on it. Except <laughs> it was made by a fan. And I was like, well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, then and it looks with, good. <laughs> but all those were like small details. Uh, wait, what was what was my issue with 4? I feel like I'm missing something with AC4. Oh, yeah. This is the point where the items started having to have a code from McFarlane Toys. Oh. For a long time, which I have another rant about, if you will allow me. Welcome to Rant... R- welcome to rant, Rantcast Season 2 version. <clears throat> so, this is an updated version of this rant. I don't know if I even ranted about this last I don't think season. You did. I don't think you did it on the podcast yet. Okay, so, here's my issue. Um, in submission to you, the Assassin's Creed community, have you ever fucking noticed... <laughs> <laughs> that um if you got these action figures from store you know the assassin's creed ones with the um mm-hmm. articulate limbs and everything from like uh gamestop or whatnot back when ac4 was the big thing made by mcfarland toys um which specializes in making fully articulate action figures and like statues yeah. of football players or something like that that are very closely <laughs> I- identical to the uh fandom counterpart it has i think they have walking dead um maybe game of thrones stuff yeah, like that yeah i've i've seen i've seen their like cases around like video stores and shit yeah so 
So Assassin's Creed was a big one, and I thought it was actually pretty cool that there were these figures. Um, yeah. When they started selling them, though, of course they were, um, you know, they were they were selling them mainly to the fans, and mm-hmm. with the fans, um, you know, put the game and the the uh, toy together, and you, hmm, <laughs> let's give them some extra add-on content with that. So if you haven't noticed. Um, when you look at any promo art, or better yet, when you go into a generic menu to select swords, uh, <laughs> outfits, or firearms, you'll notice that when you hover over swords, there's this weird sword that you will never find anywhere else. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is called the Kenway Family Sword. It uh-huh. is a sword that is not available in game. <laughs> Let me tell you how you're able to get this. If you went and bought an Assassin's Creed 4 uh, Edward Kenway action figure, the regular one, his original <laughs> garb, you will be getting a code on the bottom of it. Which, by the way, if you're a collector, don't get this for the code because you'll have to rip open the box and there goes all your value even though the action fig. Carter has just left the call. I'm going to continue with this. There will be a piece of folded paper in the bottom of it. That would give you a little tiny code, and you would have to enter that in. Not on, not in the game. Not in the game. You have to enter that in on a website that no longer exists. No longer exists. Called AC, AC Initiates. I'm struggling to talk. AC Initiates, which, like I said, does no longer exist because they did, they figured out how to actually make you play, you know, function a little bit for a reward system. That's the original ver- reason why they had AC Initiates. But it's it's a piece of crap. Don't even pay attention to it. It's gone anyway, so whatever. Which I'll get into in a second why I have a big issue with that. But um, that code you would have to enter in in a separate website, and it would tell you a reward or anything like that. And you would have you would have to choose um, what how you wanted to redeem it. So the way that uh, hold on, you left the call. Sorry, he just messaged me thinking that he's still in the call. Um, you would have to uh, choose what platform to redeem that on. So, you could choose PlayStation 3, PC, or Xbox 360. Um, hold on, I'm still... You left the call. Join... It said you left. And, oh, there it is. There you are. I didn't leave the call. I was I'm on it the call. It said you left the, the call. I was on the call screen the entire time. You just went silent. I was like, what? It said you left the call. I don't know. Um. So, where was I? I, I already went over some of it so i'll just continue on where i left off so you're able to redeem it on you're able to redeem that reward on the platforms that you wish wish to choose you can choose playstation 3 xbox Mm -hmm. 360 or pc but if you're like me and you had a playstation 4 or an (laughs) xbox one and you had the next gen version of ac4 which let me remind you it was primarily marketed for was the next gen consoles you would have it on that console they didn't have the rewards available for the next gen consoles so (laughs) guess what you're not able to get the Kenway family sword you're not able to get the blackbeard anything you're not able to get Hatham's outfit you're not able... Which is not, which is not really Hatham's outfit. <laughs> which is not really Hatham's outfit. It's just a jacket that has his color scheme. It's just Edward's outfit with his color. <laughs> You're not able to get any of that. Any of those rewards to redeem in AC4. But... Do you still next have game the co- came, well, well, okay, now here's the problem, Carter. Yeah? I mean, they let you redeem them for AC Unity... But again, okay. you have to go through the AC Initiates website, 
So okay. I redeemed that stuff in there, but there was something funky going on that I noticed that I didn't even dare to like investigate further. Because okay. I had an outfit that I only could have gotten by getting the the freaking S, the the action figure. It was a special yeah. outfit. Yeah. But then suddenly an update comes out, which allows Yo. everybody to have that outfit. Yeah. And I was a little bit, <laughs> I had a little bit mixed feelings because I'm like, here's something unique that I can use in a co-op game ran with randos. Yeah. But now everybody has it. What's the big deal? I didn't investigate this further until three weeks ago. I'm like, well, for old time's sake, I just want to see if Ubisoft decided to just allow it to be available somehow. I mean, I I I I I wrote in a little like post about you know a question about like if that would be available. They said it won't, but I was just like, I'm I'm gonna see if they like changed their mind or anything like that. I haven't seen anything. I typed in AC Initiates. Mm -hmm. This web page no longer exists. <laughs> so. Oh, uh, that's right, because they took it down for a little bit. If you have a code that you can only redeem into AC4 or AC Unity from the McFarland action figures, not only is that action figure lying for some reason gone now, but along with that, you're no longer able to redeem these codes to get the rewards. Which means... You to, wait, you had to go through a website? There should just be a redeem code section, isn't there? You'd have to redeem that code into the website in order to get the code to redeem into the console. You have to... Wait, you have to... So the code in the action figures... You had to is a code, redeem. is a code to get another code, to to get the outfit into the game. So it's two codes. It's two codes. That's you have bullshit. To use code one in order to get exactly. And if you're like me, who, who's like Ubisoft is, you know, marketing this on the next gen consoles, they're gonna have it available, and it's not available for that console ever. Then you're like, then what's, why, 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 why? Seriously, this is probably, this is probably one of the biggest problems that I have. It's like, you're, mar you're marketing, you've created, one, a new website, for two, these, these action figures that you are, you know, partnered up with another company in order to sell, so that three, you can give the, uh, the, the, these people who buy these figures to have a special, you know, reward from it, but you don't inform them that it's not available on next-gen consoles, and then the next year, when you shut down your partnership with McFar excuse me, McFarlane, then you shut down your AC Initiates website without, like, giving a big, like, information thing saying, hey, just for all the players out there, you know, on a universal thing, hey, we're shutting down AC Initiates. You better get your rewards in soon. Without doing any of that, it. <sighs> Why would you market a game, your new game, on next-gen consoles, but not allow people to redeem rewards for that console? Especially when they've already bought those figures. What else are they going to redeem those codes for? <coughs> I just pulled up the the website. You did. Yeah, I, literally, the first thing I, I Google Assassin's Creed Initiates, the very first menu is the, the very first link on there. It takes you to the redeem code page. Did you actually click on it? Yes, I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> it says, thank you for purchasing your Assassin's Creed product. Please enter the code exactly as it appears on your packaging, what did, including what did dashes. You type in again? I just went to Google, typed in AC Initiates. And one of the very first links, it's like prod4acinitiates.com slash promotions. Yeah, but it doesn't show anything else for me. It's just a white screen. It's coming up for me. 
I can I can prove it. <laughs> Let me see. Nope. Yeah, it's not. Nice flower, by the way. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Borf. How do I switch the... Oh. Huh. Borf. 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 Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> no, hold on a second. Uh... It's not... It's not doing any of that for me. I just have a white screen. You might you might want to <laughs> you're gonna you're probably gonna want to block out that uh, the first camera shots because I I'm literally I, it's literally hot as balls in here. So I've got no shirt. <laughs> I know there's a specific AC initiates page thread, but I think this particular question to serve its own thread. You played and now got this thing with XP and stuff that's kind of similar to what ACI did for AC games. So there's no update for ACI for these re for the release of ACS. So is the site dead or kept alive just for maintenance for games that have connection to it like AC4 or ACU? It would be 10 not to announce when one of their sites goes belly up. Assassin Network, Abstergo Industries, etc. I'd say to say it's assume. Uh, Initiates is dead and not coming back. No Syndicate or ACC China on there. Alas, doesn't look good. Okay, that doesn't answer my question. How is it that one person has been able to just go into it just now and I... Do you have, do you have the same URL? Yeah, it was AC... Hold on, it was... You have, like, the prod for... Yeah, prod4.acinitiates.com slash promotions. I don't know what to tell you then. <laughs> <coughs> All right, well, let's let's try this. It's it's still really pissing me off that I can't get that one bonus skin in AC two. <laughs> in AC two? Yeah, that that one like stark black outfit. I was able to get it. How? Oh. I went to, like, a store in Monterigione, and it was there underneath, uh, Assassin White. You must have, no, you must have had a different edition than me, then. Are you talking about, like, AC2 in the Ezio collection, or AC2 as a regular one? That's a regular one. I don't have the Ezio collection. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a Facebook <laughs> thing that no longer exists, Carter. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's why I can't get it. <laughs> so, to continue on with my rant that is still being proven correct because I'm not getting anything with this website. Um, what if it's like an ad blocker thing? I don't even have an ad blocker on, though. <laughs> if, it, if it's a bullcrap ad blocker thing. I'm, Maybe Ubisoft fuck just of hates shit. you. Are you fucking kidding me? I is just, it just like, an ad blocker? I just disabled my ad blocker, and there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Try the code, see if it works. Dun 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 da 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 Try the code, see if it works. Uh, I need to find them now. Alright, well <laughs> my entire rant has just been null. <laughs> I mean uh, well there's still that one issue of like you, you said it wasn't for you didn't have the rewards for next gen. Well, yeah, that's still that. That's still so that, it, if that if that gets if that gets so, proven, well, I don't know. If that gets proven correct right now, if I could find the damn fucking code, there. Yeah. Oh, here's one. Uh, yeah, try right. it out. Here, try it out. Here's 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 uh, I mean the the I'm not gonna show this on screen. So I'm gonna <laughs> type in here it is uh the Kenway family Moment sword. Truth. Moment of truth. Ballot format, redeem. I highly doubt they made it available on <laughs> PS4. I highly doubt it. 
if it doesn't work, you don't. You could always just give them to me after the Yeah, show. but I want to use them. <laughs> you well, you can't use them though. Is the thing. <laughs> I can get a digital copy on PS3. I don't care. <laughs> I just want one. I want to be able to use this stuff. <laughs> I'd, I'd have to like buy the fucking action figures and shit. I've been looking around for them. Like, how's that at BD? No. <laughs> All the ones I've seen online are all like sixty dollars each. I'm like, I don't think the value's gone up that high. <laughs> Edward would be very disappointed in me if I paid this much money for Hatham. <laughs> what the fuck is this now? What? It's not. It's not. All right, we're gonna try another one. Then. <laughs> uh, where is Welcome to Ubisoft Maintenance with uh, Blobby and Carter. Where is the Kenway outfit? Did it not work with the sword? Yeah. You're right to an Ongaton figure, unlocks initiates achievement. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Connor figure, unlikes unique Connor sales. Whatever. <laughs> Your Haven figure unlocks unique outfit color. Okay, there it is. <laughs> and if this one doesn't work, then it is just... It explains the disappointment that I have right now. <laughs> It'll all be summed up in Haven. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't even fucking typing. Perfect. I'd love to watch this. <laughs> well, you're just, like, are you just like clicking your fingers against the fucking mouse button or something? <laughs> oh. I'm not, oh, wait, I wasn't even typing. Valid format. Okay, that's cool. Now, can we continue on, please? <laughs> the key you have entered is invalid. Please try again. For the love of everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that m that moment of hope, though. <laughs> oh, there was no moment of hope. I had a strong feeling, like, even if I typed these in and it was accepted, it was going to be like, yeah, no, we still don't operate for this. Yeah. I'm going to back out and try it one more time. <laughs> I have no hope. I knew it was never going to work. Let's try it one more time. <laughs> Account do you want me to use anyway? Okay, it's not um, that one. It's not that you, one. You play? Can you bite me? I, Can I, my I, dog I, stop barking? Oh my god. <laughs> it's 11.08. He's outside. <sighs> Quality podcast. I was shirtless. Blobby is frustrated. You were shirtless. I'm gonna go kill my dog real quick. I told you to. I told you when I flicked that because it's like 180 degrees in right, here. Whatever. And we're, fuck. We're, so when I, to, when I when I flicked on the camera, I was like, you should probably censor that because I, I literally have no shirt or pants right now because it's fucking hot. So you should um, censor that in post. <laughs> so we went on a full tangent and we still haven't completed our one thought. So, <laughs> things that Ubisoft forget. <laughs> so that was one thing. Uh, Unity did not have the original outfit that they first uh, teased until they added it on later. But another yeah. thing that they did not have um, was faces. Were the out, the out, yes, and the outfits <laughs> that the other assassins were able to use in any part, uh, like, yeah. even if you just saw them on the other players or. If they were available, I would love to see those. Um, hey. Syndicate. Jacob's hair is not th uh, long. Like the trailer. Yeah. That's right. He did have, like, Ezio hair. And Evie wasn't in the trailer, but she was added in later. Let's that sink into your head real quick. <laughs> um, Origins. Yeah. Origins. Origins. 
What is not in Origins? That was in the trailer. I can't think of anything. Who was that Pharaoh dude at the beginning? Because it wasn't Ptolemy. Because Ptolemy does not have the like the facial hair like braided thing, like the beard thing. Who, who are you talking about? You know the shot where it goes from the bla the brass disc that's on the wall and it zooms down to all these people kneeling in front of a pharaoh and then he turns towards the order of the ancient guy. I... All of ancient Egypt just kind of blends together. <laughs> this, is the, this is the trailer. This is the trailer. Think about it. I, don't, I can't remember the trailer. I'd have to watch it again. <laughs> I was about to start seeing. <laughs> <laughs> if you are the dealer, I'm out of the game. <laughs> um, um, cause, cause there are two. There's there seems to be two separate Pharaoh guys. There was the one that was shown in the trailer. I mean, Ptolemy was also shown in that, but there is a Pharaoh guy at near the beginning of the trailer that has this like facial hair thing. Um, you know the normal have, like the normal pharaoh beard looking thing, but it's like might have inside. Just said the noble, that, that was that was kind of a common thing, the beard thing. Yeah, but why would people be bowing in front of a noble? And why would he be talking to the order of the ancients? I don't know. That's the only mm. thing I could only think that did not show up. Uh, and uh, what, maybe uh, other uh, thing probably being the fact that you. That Bayek was able to you to have his shield um, equipped and using a bow and arrow too, but yeah. that's neither here or there. You, when you when you're talking about Unity and Syndicate, that reminded me of. Uh, I just want to make the point that Unity or that uh, Ubisoft is absolute garbage at explaining shit. Yeah. Because here's the thing, when. Do you remember that whole there? Were, oh, you can't be a female assassin in, in in the co-op thing. Do you remember that? Yeah. All they had to say was because you all play as Arno. Yeah. At all. Yeah. But instead, they go with the well, girls are hard to animate thing, and it's like well, that doesn't even have anything to do with it. Why? Yeah. <laughs> I have, Why? You... I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. Because I wasn't paying that much attention to it. I only found out about this after the fact. And, what? No, this is not me taking a jab at any sexuality. I'm going to say, <laughs> say that right now. Was the whole Jacob is a bisexual person thing, was that during development that they made the decision, or was that after development? I don't recall that ever even being confirmed. <laughs> Because I was under the... Well, because that whole thing sprung up because Maxwell... <laughs> Here's the thing. It all came out because Maxwell Roth made out with him. Yeah, I know. The, I was under the whole, enti the whole entire impression... First of all, I was under the impression that that was the thing. That Maxwell Roth... That he, he in instigated that and it wasn't something that, like, Jacob was instigating. But other than that, I, <laughs> I, it just... It seems like the whole entire issue there it just seemed like it was a la last minute like i'm sure inclusion i feel like somebody's like Here's... oh somebody just noticed that jacob got kissed by another dude maybe if we call him bisexual we'll get more fans or something like that or, or like, here's the problem I, ha like... I have a lot of problems with syndicate but this, this is a legitimate problem and this kind of goes in with the whole not it's kind of goes in with the whole uh, the staff being old and not with the times kind of thing. Yeah. The decision to make to give you like a boy and a girl that's fair, because you know it, it appeals to people like me who want to want to be the opposite. It's like okay, be... but that whole idea falls apart when you make your girl character an emotionless tomboy. It literally it literally takes out the whole entire point of it. I feel because like... that doesn't because it's not just the body thing that matters; it's also the personality. And it's like when they're both just these boyish personalities, you don't it you lose that property. And it's like because like, they because no, they were also trying to shove in the whole oh strong independent woman bullshit, even though it's like yeah because God knows being an emotionless robot is can just destroy. <laughs> I'm but, probably uh, gonna get a 
lot of flack for this, and people are probably going to take me out of context. I'm going to say right now, I don't care. It, you be who you want to be. I, I, you, you make it. your decision. It's just, it's fine. Um, I'm not. I don't. I, I don't hate on anybody else just because they're different. That's not a whole big deal, man. I don't care. You be you. I be me. It doesn't matter. But I feel like a lot of what Ubisoft is doing, in the sense of inclusion is they're what they're doing is they're just trying to garner more and more attention for all the wrong reasons yeah they keep they keep like trying they take different paths that collide with each other right so like here's the thing thing. i'm all for having a female protagonist same and um (laughs) obviously (laughs) oh duh i mean yeah, I'm all for having female protagonists. Um, but there's sometimes there are things where you'll try to start putting into a game that, especially in a game that's based off of like his, history, stuff like that, when you, when you start including certain aspects that are more like acceptable in our time that were not at all acceptable back then. Yeah. Then it starts becoming like a, it it it, it, it starts to become a little bit awkward in a way, because yeah, I mean like, I in a way, because yeah. I mean like, I know you had an issue with the whole like, outfit deal with like, oh yeah, <laughs> um, Evie's outfit not being like Victorian. She looks like she looks like the Victorian equivalent of a prostitute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the the only thing, like, I mean, I don't know that much about Victorian um, history, so if I'm somewhat wrong with this, anybody <laughs> let me know. Um, who, who was the uh, tra- the transgender guy again in the game? Ned Williams or something like that? Oh, uh, no, hold up, let me look. Yeah, it was Ned something. W- why not? Yeah, I think. Um, <laughs> Why not? <laughs> that that was like a known thing in the game, right? Hmm. Like that was a known thing with the a white nerd. That... Sorry, what? It's Ned Weinert. Weinert. Was, Ned Weinert. Um, it was a known thing in the game that he was transgender, right? It was never mentioned. I remember they said it in the promotional. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they, which, they said it in the promotional. That they they said, said it oh, in the this... pro- which, which probably says something, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it says something. The, I, like I said, I don't know that much about um, Victorian era history or whatnot, but um, was there even that whole idea of transgender going on back then? It wasn't called transgender yet, but there okay. was, like... Um, I was researching this the other day. It, it was a. Uh, it, it was weird. It was kind of like proto trans. Like I feel like the, I feel like the people themselves, like the trans people themselves, would have identified the same way that modern trans people do. But okay. like from a from an outside standpoint, they, they like the outside understanding of it was a bit different. Like it's like oh well, it, it's it's a man in a in a woman's role that kind of thing. Oh okay. Or. All right, well, or like it, it was complicated it, well because you had a bunch of bigoted assholes so it's like <laughs> um yeah. i mean then forget what i was saying but i, feel I know like, i know like, a lot of Na- i know what a lot of native american like deep traditions and cultures that is like a normal thing the the transgender thing okay well then i mean what um what i'm trying to get at is i feel like that they're trying to market that a lot more yeah like they're trying to push for that in order to get like in order to get more people to pay them money. Yeah. Is what I think that they're doing. Um Yeah. Cuz I mean like I said I don't care if it's part of the game or whatnot. It's That's an, that's another problem with Syndicate and it really it really does prove that point right there that it's, it's just a marketing scam. Yeah. Like they have these elements in the game in, in Syndicate they don't explore any of it, though. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, bump into this transgender guy. It's like, oh, okay. 
Uh, side <laughs> missions, a few side missions. If, oh, okay. If they went into historical context with that, then that would be even better. No, he he didn't exist. Man. Yeah. <laughs> It just, it just seems like more of a marketing scheme. Like 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 I said, I don't have an issue with that stuff being in there. Yeah. But it's just like I feel like that the the reason why they put it in there was much more for like marketing just, reasons. Just to have it. Yeah. Just to just for. Yeah. Um, it, it it really is like again with Syndicate they tried so they tried so hard to like do so many different things, and they all clashed with each other into just this giant train wreck. And that, especially that stuff with like the the trying to be, uh, progressive and shit. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's you know, as as part of the, you know, it's like, you can't like I said, you can't have, the girl character to play as, for the sake of like, oh, you can go with with everyone you identify as, um, it's like, but then she's just this emotionless bitch, who mm. literally tosses her dress in a gutter it's like yeah you don't understand this do you <laughs> so to wrap up everything <laughs> we have a feeling that ubisoft is kind of out of touch with a lot of stuff to, ra- to wrap to up wrap everything up we last... hate assassin's creed <laughs> <laughs> to wrap up the last hour and 10 minutes we feel like ubisoft is doing a lot more marketing schemes and a lot less paying attention to it the audience. Yeah. Anyway. We've got to have money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I mainly say this because, you know, everybody's like, after they hear Origins is going to be coming out after yeah, two, Odyssey. like they're going to be taking a break and then they're going to be releasing it, not releasing it as the next year's installment after Syndicate. Everybody's like, yes, awesome. Now. <laughs> Hopefully they'll, you know, they'll finally, you know, let's see how this game goes. And then the game does great. Yeah. And then everybody's like, oh, finally, Ubisoft finally realized that, you know, taking a break and then not releasing them every single year will not, A, tire out everybody, and B, will allow them to, you know, do all this other stuff. And then after Origins, they're like, yeah, no, Odyssey, next year. Get ready. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Needs to be some room for excitement, I have to say. Because, I mean, like, <laughs> he, he, here's why I say that. And this will be my last thought. All right. There are other um, franchises that I'm big fans with. Um, my second favorite is Fallout. And the fact that, you know, my favorite, you know, my favorite game series of all time is Assassin's Creed. I was more excited for the release of Fallout 4 on the year that Syndicate was released. Yeah. Since I was more like, or where, whatever the next Assassin's Creed was, I feel like Syndicate was released at the same time as Fallout 4. The fact that I was more excited about Fallout 4 <laughs> instead of Assassin's Creed yeah. says a lot of how I think about yearly releases. Because when you start doing yearly releases, that's when people will start considering it on the level of Call of Duty. Because <laughs> Call of Duty does yearly releases as well, and that game is not made for story. It is made for multiplayer combat. Yeah. Assassin's Creed should not be on the level of Call of Duty because it's more story-driven, but you'll notice that the quality of story has gone down more and more and more and more sort every of, year. Also, the, I, I, just, I, I had this pointed out to me the other day. You ever notice how... Pretty much all Ubisoft games are starting to look identical at this point, like in terms of map structure at the very least. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, because like yeah, like Far Cry and fucking you, you, Assassin's Creed, especially Origins now, and you know, watch. It's like it's just such a Watch Dogs, Watch um, Dogs, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. They all look like the, the exact only- same map. <laughs> It's 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 not just the exact same map. They have quest, the same like they have quest the structure same and everything. Quest structure. They have the same like um, exploration style. Like it's like it's even in the fucking crew. It's even in the crew. Okay, <laughs> their car game. It's even in the crew. You travel to a different part of the map. 
you go to this viewpoint thing, you sync up with it, and it reveals a lot of activities around the map. It's in Far Cry. It's in Wildlands. It's in fucking The Crew. Yeah. It it all, so the only game that they like don't copyright. have this in is Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> and that's because it's not an exploration game, it's a combat game. But every it just looks other like, it game just looks like an exploration <laughs> game is just you going around a map, doing quests, and unlocking viewpoints so that you can reveal other things on the map. It's it's, it's just it's just dumb. copy and paste. It's copy and paste. Not like it's, it's, it's not it's Ubisoft's not on the level of Call of Duty. They've succeed, they've surpassed Call of Duty because it's not just one game franchise that's doing this. It's like every game franchise now. Even it's if like, it's not a year release game like Assassin's Creed. No, 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 no. It's every single game that really you, they you can't e you can't even let you can't even like defend it anymore with like the oh well it's actually going to be one big connected universe because here's the thing nobody's looking forward to the whole connected universe idea yeah no that's not that, no no that's nobody not. looks forward and, to that and, idea and because also, it's fucking also, bullshit like, it's bullshit also, at this point if you go in on to defend like I I did this before um because like if you I mean the Assassin's Creed games they have a lot yeah. of story in them. But then the more and more time it's released, the less and less it has story in them. And I used to defend the series like, well, it's not exactly like Call of Duty because they actually focus a lot on the story and there's a lot yeah. of story to f uncover. But yeah, that's not it anymore. Then that just that's starts dropping anymore. too and you got nothing left. Now you got no it's, more it's like you got no more soapbox. <laughs> First of all, it's like it's like it's like spoon fed information now. Yeah. And even then when you go and like you go Nine. to places like the the Isu places that you go to in yeah. Origins, even when you go there and you listen to the narrator, it's just like okay, it's what's the benefit for this for me? Yeah, it's it's also like ninety percent of the shit you, you uncover is just callbacks to other games. And that's yeah. At this point. Like there's nothing it's... really new that's being said anymore. It, yeah, it, except for like the it, occasional it, fucking exactly letter in a side mission or some Here, bullshit. Here's here's what Assassin's Creed now is these days. New time period, recap. Yep. New time period, but there's a recap. Yep. It's all it is. Cuz like you notice with AC4 and AC Rogue, yep. They're like you're a new character here's what happened in the past and then here's what you're going to be doing and then after AC4 and AC Rogue AC Unity AC Syndicate, you're an even different person now, you're completely yep. new and it's like, here's what happened here's what you're yep. going to be doing that's it now, <laughs> we're in AC Origins here's what you're doing here's this guy Cause here's like what's the... been happening Here the first, the, the Desmond Saga felt like a contained story like yes. e like not even just with the and modern not days just, and not just contained it's story like, story that you had to uncover too well I'm yeah it's fucking, like and i know i'm gonna say this until they f <laughs> they bring it back or they find another way i goddamn love the glyphs in ac2 yep. and in ac yep. brotherhood because you had actually, to figure out stuff and you had to figure out it the story yeah it invested you and, and it also added new stuff that like yeah. had and, and, it, it and didn't it, even have anything it, to do with like it, the the story not only itself that, it, it was explained just... stuff that you didn't even know that you had to uncover yourself ac2 glyphs they were all talking about the history of the isu and how it had an impact on the universe and you had to figure that out because yeah because yeah that's all you had to figure out that stuff and those were puzzles those were crypt those were cryptic puzzles yeah. i love those yep. ac brotherhood it talked about the rise of the templars into abstergo industries yep. you went through all of that to find out how exactly this company became a thing there's so much more you could do with that yeah you could you could still do that i mean even after you killed desmond he could have he could still pull a subject 16 because in ac2 Technically, Subject 16 is still alive. Yep. Up until Revelations, he's still alive. He's just inside yep. the Animus, and he's the one, like, contacting you. You yep. can have Desmond somehow contact, like... I keep forgetting this new girl's name, but I don't care her name right now. <laughs> Layla. <laughs> Layla. You, you can still, like, have... Like, you can have her go to an Assassin HQ. The Assassin HQ with Rebecca and Sean and William. Yep. And then plugged into an Animus that still had that Animus core from when Desmond escaped from Abstergo. Yep. 
and you could still have, you know, so, you could have Desmond start talking to Layla and do all these glyphs and everything like that, or yep. something like that, and do that. You could still put that in there. It's, it was an invested, it was an invested activity you can do to explore yep. the story of what is happening, what the fuck is happening, because you dive into the series of, I'm in this animus, and now I'm going through all this time trying to find this orb that shines and controls the minds of people. How did that even become a thing? And then Ubisoft did a very smart thing, and they're like, we're not just going to tell them. We're going to have them figure it out by mm -hmm. going around the map and finding these icons. And that was phenomenal. And Brotherhood... Yeah. Although the, the, the number is lower to like 10 instead of 20, there are still puzzles and you just have to figure it out. It had quality then over quantity with that stuff. I mean, yep. there were only 10 puzzles, but they had new puzzles inside of those. And they had added information with binary code, cryptograms, the, the spreadsheet, the, the song, the, the sheet music. I miss the, the days when AC used to be the theorizable. Thing, <laughs> and the whole Russian one. That was a thing. That gave you a lot of information. They did that right. Yep. But then, <laughs> it just became, here's the new time period and a recap. Yeah. Well, uh, what I was saying I earlier was like... I am going to make a series on YouTube where I rant to every single game <laughs> company in the world. <laughs> I am what? about to do it. <laughs> do it. What I was saying about the contained story thing earlier was a uh, even well like you like even besides the modern day the history stuff itself felt like a contained story like Ezio and Altair you felt like that was one story and it all just it all climaxed in Revelations and like Connor is a bit disconnected admittedly but like you still kind of get that vibe because it's like okay it's the end of the arc it's still they mention Ezio and whatnot. And shall you? And it's like oh, okay, I, I still I still see how this is, and like even AC three like in the multiplayer, all the shit, all the cryptic shit you you unlock in that tells like the story of like the entire colonial brotherhood pretty much from right up to Roanoke and everything, and like wait and where in, in the multiplayer you you the higher up you go the more shit you unlock of like uh, okay with like arrow arrow dude arrow dude hacks. That like, that like reveal information about like the 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 avatars and like different points of history about in in American history involving the assassins and Templars and all that and like so it, even that had that to an extent then Black Flag came and I I remember Black Flag felt like such a disjoint because you were this faceless motherfucker at Abstergo. I honestly feel like that that's the game that it started to become like either a division between the fans and the new coming fans or the fans and not yeah. or something like that. Yeah. And also, or, or just like a complete like push away of one fan base and then trying to get in new fan bases. Because yeah. I mean, while AC4 was pretty good, the fact that the whole entire game focus more on exploration of the ocean and combat naval combat a very yeah on assassin like thing to do yeah that was admittedly not very fun <laughs> and also having only three small but major islands to go like explore on that had like active npcs and everything like that i know there's like i know there's a. Uh... The jungle sections are pretty I linear. I know there's Nassau, and then there's Havana, and then there's uh, Kingston. But those yeah, are the yeah, only three that I can really remember yeah. of like having enemies actually being around and Assassin's Creed-esque with running around the cities. But even then, it still seemed a little bit linear. And like you just said, with the whole jungle section, there wasn't that much yeah. exploration. Well, because like, cause like an, AC an AC3 had the frontier, there. and the frontier yeah. still felt like an open, like an open world. Right. All the jungles in AC4, it just feels like, oh, I'm going to take this path of trees to get to this next <laughs> segment. Yeah. But I really feel like that AC4 is when it started to have that little disconnect. Cause yeah. When Unity rolled around, I was, I, I mean, I was somewhat invested in the store in AC4, 
but yeah. Ace Unity was so hard to get invested in. Here's the only thing that I really remember of significance from AC Unity. You, your father get here. here here's only the, what I can remember. Your father gets killed. You're brought into a Templar family. You fall in love with your basically your stepsister, which is <laughs> weird. Um, I just, you, they don't share DNA. See, yeah, well, um, <laughs> then your stepfather basically gets killed. And then you're brought into the assassins because somebody recognized you somehow while he was in the uh, well, while you were in, he recognized you based off of the stopwatch that you had. His, <laughs> his his past brother member had and everything. And then he's like, "Come to the assassins, piss pot." And then, <laughs> I forgot the accent. <laughs> and then you're like oh now i'm in the brotherhood now and then the whole time while you're killing all these other people whose names i've completely forgotten and i don't care about you're like the whole time every time you kill him he's you're like he helped kill monsieur de la Serre. and then <laughs> while this is going on you're having a romance time with the templar girl that you grew up with all your life and then and hot air balloons. And... and then you find this one dude with weird eyes who happens to become the enemy now, and yada, yada, yada. I love how, I love how Jermaine is not even played by the same guy as Roberts. Yeah, because isn't that supposed to be a thing? <laughs> <laughs> like, they're, they're exactly the same in Except DNA and voices. everything. Except their fucking voice. Which is weird, because... They're the, the exact same person, just reincarnated. Which is, but here's the thing, I think the voice actor who played Roberts had a role to play in Unity. I can't remember what it was, but I remember seeing his name on the cast list, just not under Jermaine. That's not fair. <laughs> uh, that's all I can remember. Uh, Arno is fine. Now everyone's a sage. You're a sage, and you're a sage. pops and in. Des and Desmond's son is a sage. Eden, and then he is... He, you know, he's having his love affair with his Templar girlfriend. God, fuck it. Have you read the comics? No, I have not. Can, can I just with spoil it right... the power of friendship, we can kill <laughs> Juno. How does Juno die, by the way? Anticlimactically. Just... It's not even really satisfying. Like, I don't... I didn't, it didn't really even give me the chance to just, like, like, let out that breath of, okay, they finally put this to bed. It didn't even, you did, there wasn't even, here's the thing, they had, the, the whole resurrection arc was the final one, it was like this four issue thing. The first three issues are just them trying to figure out where the fuck the lab is, and then the very last issue, and all these are only like 30 pages long, so not a lot of room. The last issue is when they finally find the lab in the middle of the desert. And they break in, and she, the only thing that Juno does when she steps out of her little vat is she laughs evilly, she puts on her fucking, like, helmet and shit, starts, like, talking about ruling the world, and then she gets, she, <laughs> then Desmond's son just kind of, like, sneaks in, get, <laughs> like, gives uh, Charlotte, the assassin girl, a piece of Eden, that shoots the, the Koei Noor, and then Juno just gets shanked. And then the whole thing just ends with Otso Berg blowing up the lab. And that's it's. There's not even like a trans. There's not even like a transition. There's not even like a final epilogue of like, yeah, you know what? We we assassins and Templars. So it turns out maybe we can work together after all. Or, or, you know, like, oh, well, we finally overcame this. Or, just something. There's nothing, though. It just ends with it, with the building blowing up and Desmond's son sneaking away from the base with the fucking diamond. And that's it. Let's flash back to AC3 real quick. <laughs> I, this is a very serious... This, this is actually going to be serious. I, I need to okay. point out something here. Okay. Flashback to AC3, the epic moment, the sad moment, I'll argue, where mm -hmm. Desmond sacrifices himself. Yep. The wine line he says to his dad, no matter what happens, no matter what happens here, we'll find a way to stop her. Mm -hmm. You're setting up for a... First of all, with that implication in that sentence, you're implying that it's going to be hard and it's going to be difficult yeah. to take her. It's going to be like this big apocalypse moment or something. 
Exactly. So you have this whole thing set up. Yeah. You have that whole thing set up. You, you've even implied in Brotherhood that Desmond's going to have a son. I can think of already nine different story arcs that you can do yep. that involves Desmond's son in the entire game. Yep. You have this whole buildup of Juno gaining power. Yep. Through the servers, just not you know it's it's talked about in AC. Wait, they kind of shoot that down too. That like they almost like immediately shoot it down AC because like. Four. Yeah. And again, in AC Syndicate, I don't remember it being talked about in ACU. No, you they even I'm, had this whole arc with. There, a there was a deleted. Name. There was a deleted file. I remember there was a deleted voice file of Juno talking to members of the the instruments, and but that was all like. <laughs> you even have this whole entire thing, with that they got rid of. First of all. Which yep. I feel like this is when they made another like backpedal. Yep. They had this whole, uh, like this whole Project Phoenix thing, mm -hmm. going to resurrect a, a person from the first civilization. Yep. They have all this set up, mm -hmm. and then not only do you finish this major story arc that you have set up in game in a fucking comic book, but you finish it with something like that. Juno you know, steps out. Gives Get some dialogue and then gets stabbed. Yep. That is not how you do story writing. No. I don't, I don't give a shit whether you're one of those people who likes to put a lot of drama in there, or if you're like me and likes. Wasn't well, even drama. Realistic. Like, it's like. Well, it was so confusing no, no, too, because no, like there was no, no, a, there was no, no, a, there was a hallucination of concepts. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Even if, like, what I was saying was, even if you are one of those people who likes everything to be dramatic, or if you're one of those people like me who likes to have things a little bit more realistic, like how J.R.R. Tolkien writes, um, is it Tolkien or is it George R.R. Martin that I'm thinking of? I don't know. <laughs> who writes Game of Thrones? That's Martin. Martin? Sorry. Martin. Uh, where he kills off even big protagonists. Mm -hmm. Something realistic like that. Even if you, you have to understand something. Not only is it a bad thing that you're introducing a major plot line and finishing a major plot line in a major like distribution of a franchise, but then yep. you're finishing off it off in another dis, dis, medium. distribution, in another medium that, like, I can guarantee you half of the people who play Assassin's Creed, even more than half of the people who play Assassin's Creed, do not even know that thing exists. Yep. That you're finishing off that story arc that you're building up, that you're implying is going to be a main focus of the rest of the games. Not only is that a terrible thing that you did that. The, the, literally the main villain of the entire series. The one that has been behind book. everything. But now the question is, how exactly are you going to go forward now? Well, obviously, with retconning out the sun, bloody... It doesn't make any fucking sense. Exactly. You kill off your main antagonist that you've building up, you've been building up all this time in it's the so comic dumb. series that not everybody, not anyone almost reads. And then, how exactly are you going to go on with this? You don't even like. You here, you don't even get like an. Here's, the, here's how you could have beautifully done this. How you could. Fi not only philosophically done this, but just poetically done this, Ubisoft. You have two extreme. Your whole the whole point, I feel like, with your entire franchise is to show two radical sides of history combating each other throughout all of history. One hell bent on f freedom, everything. One hell bent on order, everything. Yep. They are literally the two sides of chaos right here that you're working with, and you're showing how both of them cannot be an individual thing you'll you're showing a yeah. back and forth tennis match between these two radical ideals yeah that can coexist together and you could have shown how that could work with a joint combat against a common enemy mm -hmm. in a final game yep. you could have shown how the whole point of this series is the pointless combat that we have every single day with ideals that we realize are somewhat similar and different at the same time it's so to come pissy. together and then fight one issue. Yeah. But you didn't. And now you're introducing a game after you've killed off your main antagonist. What are you going to do? Why are you introducing this this choice system now then? 
is it's that supposed so, to play into this? What are you so doing now? In, in regards what are to you like doing the now? in regards to like the Assassin Templar Alliance, too, it's done so shittily in the comics too, because they shove that in and it's like, oh well, the instruments are out there and they're after they're a threat to both of us, so we should unite our two orders in the truce for just to take down Juno. And it's like, but the whole time they learn nothing about each other, is the thing. They the entire fucking story, it is just. Mainly just Otso Berg and Charlotte and fucking Galena just shouting insults at each other. Just being really fucking passive-aggressive. And it just stays that, that, whole, that way the whole time. Like, literally, as they're, like, flying towards the desert to find Grammatica's lab, they fucking... <laughs> Berg literally has a, has a talk with one of, the, one of the modern assassins, and he's just like, Yeah, I don't care. I have no I have no allegiance except to myself. I'm f- <laughs> like once this is over, we're going right back to being enemies. It's like uh, nobody learns anything, and it the whole thing just ends. Juno gets stabbed. There's a giant fight outside. They the instruments get killed, and then boom. Nobody has nobody has any like talk. There's like zero talk after of what happened after the boom. It's just Otzoberg after the after all of the instruments have gotten bullets lodged in their brains. He just turns around, click, boom, end comic. No one talks. No one's like, hey, you know what? We did we did good together. Maybe there's actually hope for our two organizations after all. Nothing. It's so. There was, there's so much that Ubisoft that could have done. Yep. But I, I just, I don't know how they're going with this now. It's because they, After they, that, I didn't even know flew, that's how it ended. They but, flew no. too close to the sun. They put in too much, and they didn't realize that they had to stop. Many, here's, here's my issue. See, to be absolutely freaking clear about my issue with why this franchise cannot be releasing games every single year it's burning out people and they are it's 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 mainly one of the main things is that it's burning up people mm-hmm. it's causing hype to be under hype and now and, and with that whole thing like if you're releasing it every single year it would go from oh boy a new assassin's creed game to oh another assassin's creed game wonder which th- this one's going to be doing <laughs> it, it, it the the excitement goes lower and lower and lower even for somebody even for us who mm-hmm. are like big fans of the series yeah but when you start it's not just it is not just the audience you're burning out, but it's you're you're burning out your story. Mm-hmm. The more constant and the more frequent that you are giving out this medium of this story that you have, once you start offering it so much and you start noticing people are just like meh, and then you start retconning things and then changing it around like this, mm-hmm. you're gonna lose more people through it. And now, now, now we're at the point where you, where you have back. taken out a major factor of everything that you have just released yearly about, and you have tossed it aside in another thing, in another medium, yep. what are you going to do now? What is your plan? How are you going forward with this? Because with Origins, Origins, the only thing about the issue was that Flavius just had an, a piece of Eden and Alexander's staff. <laughs> yeah, he just had Altair's apple and his staff, and that was it. And you were just using that. He was just using that, and yeah. that's all. The only time it's ever used again is when you're fighting him, and that's it. It's introduced mm-hmm. at one point, and it's just like this ball, and then it's used at the very end. Yeah. Nothing Isu related in the big run, because all that's being focused on in the comic. There's nothing that's talked about. How are you going to focus on it now? You know? What new thing are you going to introduce? <laughs> here's, another, here's another thing. The fact that you're introducing all these other pieces of Eden and other story-driven items that have been introduced in a game series. Like, beforehand, I was for, I was okay with the fact of, like, introducing these different stories that you would have to find 
and like yeah. comment it, it, like in a website or something like that. I was so for that for a, so many modern was, day stories now though. The thing. But now there's so much story. He, he, the one way, one of the ways that I can think you could salvage this is mm-hmm. just be like, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make this universe not just the universe we're building, but for all the fans to be building. Like, every single fan fiction that you come up with or something like that is mm-hmm. going to be a part of the franchise or something like that. And that's the fucking case, then you should hire me as a writer. And I got a few <laughs> characters that I can throw in right now. I've got seven right off the bat. <laughs> Hell, we can make a whole entire new trilogy of games focused on one person. Mm-hmm. I got a Ava. Bunch of other characters. Ava's my main. Brother. But how? But other than that, I can't think of anything else. Because it was questionable when I heard that you're able to make different choices in the game that'll make a different outcome. I don't know how they're going to do that in a game that's based off of history. Well, there's going to be. The, the 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 choice thing is going to be like oh it's all anime stuff and Layla's special time travel bullshit where and Which like is there's another red well, there's gonna, thing that makes no sense they, well i mean that's the thing is that's what they originally planned to do with Desmond but they scrapped that because they thought it was stupid <laughs> yeah well just because you scrap it does not mean that you can reintroduce it while you already have that an just kind of shows thing. the fatigue doesn't it there's like well it is a fatigue, well it is a fatigue. Here, here's what i'm saying Assassin's Creed, I like. Mm-hmm. Ubisoft practices, I don't. Yeah. In all honesty, at this point, I'll be perfectly fine. I'll be perfectly fine if they say, ends. you know what? Let's just end this series. Yep. And what would be even better is if after a few years, another company acquires it mm-hmm. and then does a reboot. Sort of like how comics would go. Yeah. Like, they have this whole storyline, and they do a reboot, going all the way back again, and then doing it again a different way. I yeah. would be so okay with that. It I would just, love to see that. To stop. It just needs but to stop. They need, like, I love it. I, I love I it. Lo- I, love Assassin, I love Assassin's Creed to death. The whole, the, because I love it, I want it to just end. <laughs> I do. Every good thing needs to come to an end at some point. I love Assassin's Creed. Yeah. I honestly do. But the yep. thing is, is that when you start getting burned out every mm-hmm. single year, yeah, to the point where you're just you're questioning on whether or not you want to get the next game. Because yeah. I mean, when I mean when Unity came out, I was all over that because it had aspects that I wanted, but I was sort of disappointed. It is kind of sad when it's when like Syndi- when Syndicate came- was announced. That was when I started questioning whether or not I should get it. But it I is still kinda, got it. It is kind of sad. When, or, like... And when and and even after a year break. Until yeah. Origins came out, I didn't even bother wanting to get Origins. Yeah, but I still got it anyway. <laughs> Odyssey, it... I don't know if I want to get. It something might change my mind where I want to yeah. get it, but there are so many aspects that have already been removed and then added that it, I don't it, think will work that well. It's, it's just like for it's like for me, it, it's kind of sad because it's like at this point the only reason I'm still buying content. Is so that I can check the canon of my own content of my own fan content. <laughs> That's something I'm not I'm looking at too for some reason, even though I don't have that much written on mine. It's, it's like literally, it's like literally the anything. only reason I keep keeping tabs peak, on all this shit the, is so that the, I don't break the lore. <laughs> right. The peak of my interest in this whole series was like around AC when was it? Uh AC Three came out when I was in that grade. AC four. The peak of my interest came around AC four and between AC four and AC Unity. Yeah. Um, because that's when I started to do research of all the stuff that was added in with the um, Project Legacy stuff, where I was doing my whole wiki, wiki digging and everything like that through the entire wiki, yeah. learning about all this stuff that nobody else knew. I mean, that was also that's what prompted me to make those my fairly my very first posts on the Amino were the Assassin's Creed Extended Universe stuff. That's 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 a result of everything that I learned. I don't care anymore. Yeah, now we just want that and universe that's a bad to die thing. in heat death. <laughs> it, the, the universe, it, it, it either needs to stop happening or it needs a reboot. It needs to start all the way at the beginning, and I would be totally fine with that. What they should maybe do. That's what, what maybe that's it. Maybe that's what they're doing, though, yeah. now that I think about it. Because they're starting with Origins. 
The only problem is, is that they're just not, they didn't say, no, we're going to wipe everything and then we're going to start Origins. They said it's still in the universe. What they need to do, new they need story. to do, they need sense. to do Odyssey. And just kind of, they need to get, they need to speed through that whole bullshit where it's like, oh, you're learning how to time travel and like, and like, I'd say, my gut says only do one more game after that to wrap up that arc as fast as you possibly can. Like, just make it a little Layla trilogy. And then reboot after like two or three years. Yeah, just end it Sit back with all the writers. Just give it it mercy. (laughs) Shove them under the guillotine. End it there, or if you must. Yeah, if you must, reboot, give it a give it a. Yeah. Let give, our, it give a, our kids the chance to discover it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Start give give a give a reboot. Like take two or three years, four yeah. years even. Sit with your writers. Say mm-hmm. how exactly are we going to reboot this? Yeah. Think of something. After three to four years, release that next game. Release the new game in the rebooted. Entire yep. franchise, and it's don't gotta stop. It's release it every single year. It's just, it's, it's like they they need to do Odyssey. Or, they need to wrap. They need to wrap to really quickly into the and game. It, will just maybe the game will just end. It'll just go on forever. It just, it'll just end. <laughs> I mean, I, I I just the game. I mean, I don't see how the franchise is going to continue on. Forever I don't, know. Without I don't so see much how it can go on the next. Literally, I can only see it going on like two more games. You got Odyssey and whatever yeah. comes after that. Just make it this last final trilogy. Make it make this Ancients trilogy. Like if the next one's in Rome, like the rumors said, just leave it there. Yeah, just leave it there. <sighs> <laughs> this turned into a two-hour rant about how much we hate the series we love. <laughs> There might be more of that coming along the way, but the thing is, is that I kind of feel like this is a we should we should probably have released this two hour version because <laughs> we're late. Yep. So. Well, you gotta you gotta remember to go back and like because I with the fucking camera. I might just I might just now just keep a still or something like that. <laughs> I don't know because I don't think people are honestly watching this. Yeah. Because the only thing that they would even be watching is that you're just. Yeah, but you know, there's there's always gonna be that one person who's like, "Oh, you just flashing well, shirtless." I mean... <laughs> so, <laughs> like, like it's 180 degrees in here. I am literally sweating at my ass. <laughs> All right. Well, now we should wrap this up. Yep. <laughs> just like know, the how series we should. Continue this next week. Speaking of like wrapping things up, <laughs> I feel like this. I feel like this entire podcast is now just turning to a weekly rant about something. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna figure out something that we'll do that's fun next week. All right, try to probably keep it. Um, related we're gonna to buy a guillotine. Easy. We're gonna go we're get gonna every it. Ubisoft employee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next. Thanks. Time.